and you want to go slow because we're creating look how gorgeous this is i'm so happy with that Hey ladies, in this episode, I'm going to show you exactly how you can curl your hair using a hair straightener. I actually learned on YouTube. I sat there for the whole day and I just practiced and practiced and practiced until I got comfortable with my own style. This is my natural hair. I washed it last night so I can show you exactly step by step how I do my curls first thing in the morning when I wake up. A couple of things you'll need is a hairbrush <laughs> and crocodile clips. Woo! And also a heat protector and to finish it off with sea salt spray. So let's get straight into the video. The first thing you wanna do is part your hair up into two sections. I like to do the top as one and start on the bottom. Now that we look like a mouse, we can begin the tutorial. <laughs> Wait for it to turn on and heat up. Once that heats up, I'm going to make sure that I brush my hair out first because I wanna get all the kinks out. Okay, ladies, this is it. This is how we do it. We grab a piece and then with the hair straightener, I like to chomp it down. <laughs> downwards with the cord see how the cord is above my face here and twist and let go but I'll show you how to do it because it's sort of hard to explain without doing it on the hair I also have hair extensions in so if you see my tape extensions oh well I'm going to clamp it down keeping the hair straightener pointing down and we're going to twist it away from our face grab it with the other supporting hand and slowly twist and pull. Twist and pull down. Twist and pull down. So, like that. And now we just created our first little curl. <laughs> the faster you go with the hair straightener, the looser the curls and the slower you go with the hair straightener, the tighter the curls. So it just depends on the look that you wanna create. I personally like tighter curls because then I'll show you how I brush it out at the end and put sea salt spray in to give it that volume and that body and that amazing ooh la la kind of hairstyle. The next piece, let's keep going girls, let's keep going. Okay, so I've got another piece here for you. And what you wanna do again, so we're keeping the hair strainer always downwards because curls go down and we're flicking it off our face. So think of it like if the wind was blowing in your face, the curls will go that way. So that's how you wanna do it. Clip it and see how I'm already twisting it. And with this hand, I'm pulling it down for support, but then grabbing it with my finger and then twisting it around let, using this hand for support and pulling it down. Pulling it down and twisting, twisting slowly and pulling it down. Sometimes I wiggle it. There we go. And now another curl. So let's just keep going with the video. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now we're on to the next side. What you want to do is grab a piece. The thicker the pieces, the bigger the curl will be. The littler the pieces, you get it, the littler the curl will be. So you're gonna chomp it, twist it, and pull it, pull it downwards, and support this with the other hand. So twist it down, twist it down, and keep twisting it around, twisting it around, twist around and down. <laughs> Ta-ta! Look at the curl. Look at the curl. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. 
chomp it down, twist around, and just keep pulling it down. This hand here supports it, this hand here twists it, and we just pull it down. And now you have a beautiful curl. I can't wait to play with this after we're done. Clamp, twist, roll, and around. And keep twisting it. This also takes a lot of practice and patience until you get your rhythm. Don't be so hard on yourself if you can't figure it out. Just keep practicing every day because eventually, just like anything in life, you will eventually be able to do it. Oh my gosh, look at that little baby curl. So we've finished the bottom and now we're going to the top. I'm really excited because this is my favorite part. I like to unclip and push all my hair to the back and we're just gonna clip it off in a way. It looks like I hadn't even done anything. Like this could just be my hair right now. <laughs> Little do you know, I've got a lot of curl going on in the back. Grab your piece of hair, get your hair straightener and clamp it down. Flick around and keep pulling it down. Keep pulling it down and twist it. And you want to go slow because we're creating those really tight curls that we're going to brush out after to create a volume look. It's easy when you do it every day. So we're going to clamp it, twist it, and roll it down. Keep twisting it around. Make sure the hair straightener is down as well. There we go, another curl. <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep going with the rest of the hair. going to twist it and this is support I just kind of move it down and we twist it around and lightly and softly pull it downwards until you finish for this part of the hair it's a shorter piece and I actually don't curl all the way down I kind of twist it down and flick towards my face I'll quickly show you so what I do is I clamp it and I twist it a little bit, but I don't go all the way. I sort of just keep it half twisted because I like creating a, I like creating a look that kind of waves over, but it's not like a little piglet tail in the front of my face. So that side is now done and we're gonna finish off the rest of the hair and I cannot wait to show you the final results. Oh, I can already tell this is going to be a beautiful curl just by how nice it glided with the hair straightener. Okay, it wasn't amazing, but it's still cute. Probably would say there's four steps to this. You've got the first step is clamping it. Second step is twisting it. Third step is pulling it down. And the fourth step is keeping it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Well, yes, in this case, we want it twisted. <laughs> so adorable. Now make sure that you go through, oh yeah, I see, I already missed a piece. <laughs> How did you sneak past me? Eventually, you'll just be so pro at this that you won't even think about it and you'll just twist it. <laughs> now for the finale, we're going to remove our crocodile clips that were at the back. I'm going to show you what this looks like when I haven't put any sea salt spray or I've brushed it. Okay, so now that you've seen what the curls look like, this is how you finish it to create that effortlessly cool and soft look. I like to lightly brush my hair just enough that it still keeps the curls in 
but it just looks softer. Like already you can see this side here is just a little bit more softer. And in a way, it's kind of giving me more volume by brushing it out. Curls are just sitting there tight. So we want to brush it out and we want to just give it a bit more oomph, a little bit more personality. <laughs> Hello there. Look how nice this looks already. Grab your sea salt spray. And this just helps with a little bit of grip. I like to spray it about midway and then kind of push it up to the roots. Oh, it smells so good. It reminds me of the beach. Spray, 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 spray. And if it gets a little bit too messy, you can just brush it out with your fingers or you can use a brush. Look how nice this is. Oh, there you go. Look how lovely that is. And that is how you curl your hair with a GHD hair strainer. Look how gorgeous this is. I love a fresh hairdo. Oh, I'm so happy with that. I love the sea salt spray because it gives a little bit more grip and I brush this backwards just that little bit more to create a wave and the grip holds it in nicely. I personally prefer sea salt spray over hairspray. It's more natural and it's just easier and nicer on my hair type. If you love this video, let me know by commenting down below. Also like and subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video. I like it. <laughs> I think that's good enough.